for weekend international adventure number two. I'm in Scotland as a team oh, right now. Hannah, come say hi. Hi! We can do this, Hannah! And then right here, Arthur's seat. Yep. Is that what it's yep. called? That's Arthur's seat. And then that is an unfinished replica of the. Is that what we decided? Um, and then I think over there is the North Sea, but we don't really know. And then over here is Edinburgh. Hannah! up! <laughs> Right, I have never set foot in a cemetery in my life until I came abroad, and now I'm in my second one, and I'm just as freaked out as I was the first time. But this is, but this is Harry Potter fueled, so I'm okay with it, I guess. Maybe. Okay, this isn't Harry Potter, but it's it's Sherlock, which is cool. Okay, so I feel I need to clarify as to why we like what Harry Potter has to do with this particular cemetery. J.K. Rowling was writing the Harry Potter books. She would like sit in the elephant house, elven house, yeah, elven house, and like look out of the window over the cemetery, and then she would like see the castle up there, and like that's what she based Hogwarts off of. And some of the names, like she walked around the um, the cemetery, and she some of the names that she found she used in the books. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Okay, we don't know if this is actually one of them, but Rufus Scrimgeour is one of the characters in Harry Potter, and this guy's Daniel Scrimgeour, but it's spelled differently in the book. We found possibly the most important grave in this entire cemetery. We found the one, the only, Tom Riddle, who, you know, became Voldemort, whatever, no big deal. But anyway, we found his grave. This is the grave. He, J.K. Rowling stood right here and stared at this grave and maybe, maybe Hannah, maybe right there maybe she stood on, on that. This rock. I'm standing on her rock. Maybe she did, and now maybe we're connected to her on a deep spiritual yeah, she's level. Feeling us right now, our thoughts. Thank you, Miss Rowling. Yeah, people, people leave flowers in front of Tom Riddle's grave. <laughs> I'm like not even gonna lie right now. I can't believe I'm standing in front of Lord Voldemort's grave. It's terrifying. It's so amazing. <laughs> She's scared, but I'm just excited. I um, also have a thing with dead people. It's so. great. It's oh, well, I guess it's I've not made, great that I've he made died, this scared but, face know. like six times in the vlog. I'm like, <laughs> that's your scared face. I kind of want to take a selfie with this. <laughs> you should take a I selfie. Should, you should. Does this count? Is this? Here we go. A selfie with the <laughs> selfie with the grave. Maybe I should. Right. We there also found a Moody, like Mad Eye Moody, like the coolest guy ever. That's not true. We also found McGonagall's grave. This has been a totally worthwhile trip to a place of dead people. So congratulations to us. All of us found one, one? of the yep, important ones. I have to say, I think I found the most important one. But then again, Whatever. I could well, just be like tooting my own horn because this is my vlog and I get to make myself seem really also, important. She just didn't feel like going with us because she's a loser. Um, or I was being oh. independent. But anyway, she's thank you, JK Rowling, for I making me you. come into this. I'm colder, guys. <laughs> You're not dead yet. I'm going to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's not what I meant. In anyway, many, many years. I was the cool one because I did not follow the herd and I went to go <coughs> find Tom Riddle. Um, so yeah, that that's my second trip to a cemetery. It was not as terrifying, but still equally as creepy. So the Harry Potter adventures continue in Edinburgh. We're at the Elephant House, which is where J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter books. Not all of them, I don't think. The first one. The first one. Definitely the first one. But yeah, it was really awesome. J.K. Rowling was here, and now we're here. And we're all kind of freaking out a little bit. Except novelty is a little bit past because we've been here for a while. But it's still awesome. Okay. <laughs> This weekend, and other Muhlenberg people are in Edinburgh this weekend, so we decided to have a Muhlen meetup. Everybody say hi. Yay. Yay. Video, so don't act stupid. I, I always act stupid, so it's gonna be tough not to do. I'm not actually from Edinburgh. I said we're in Edinburgh, not that you're from Edinburgh. Yeah, that's true. So basically, that should be your like, the YouTube startup thing, you know? Like, oh, my intro? I need someone to make me an intro. <laughs> Do you know anyone? 
Okay, so I'm in the bathroom of the elephant house. We came back the second in a row because we're nerds like that. Um, and I'm in the bathroom stall and people signed things like all over the place, like Harry Potter jokes and like quotes and stuff like that. And thank you, like J.K. Rowling. And this is just like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm nerding out too much right now. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's inside both stalls. It's in the hallway. People wrote stuff on the ceilings too. This is just, oh, it's great. Okay, so while we were in Scotland, we decided to come to Glasgow too. Just, you know, see a little bit more of it. And now we're walking around finding food. No vlogging. Okay, so one of the reasons we came to Glasgow was because we wanted to continue our weekend of Harry Potter things. And we kind of and we had we Alan were, Rickman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, our conductor on the train kind of looked like Alan Rickman, but with less hair and less teeth. Uh, <laughs> um, but we were told that they filmed part of the third Harry Potter movie at the University of Glasgow, but it turns out that we were misled. And so now we're just kind of walking around the University of Glasgow campus, which is not a waste. It's really pretty. Everything's really old and like regal looking. So that's always good. Like, this is actually really, really cool. Like, why does Muhlenberg not look like this? Like, this is just really, really cool. Okay, so while Harry Potter wasn't actually filmed here, don't tell me that this doesn't look like Hogwarts, because it really, really does. It's also really quiet here, and Laura just told me my voice carries really loud, and everything's echoing. He's good at so projecting. Now, apparently I'm good at projecting. Um, and now this is just awkward, because I feel like I'm screaming no matter how quiet I am. I don't care what anyone says, I'm at Hogwarts right now. There's no getting around it. It's like, we are. That's the Whomping Willow. Show them. Here we go. Here's the Whomping Willow. Yeah. It's looking a little, a little peaked, but yeah. No. <laughs> good, good choice of words. Thank you. I don't know if that's the right word. We're, we're at Hogwarts. We are. We are. <laughs> we are at Hogwarts. I can vouch. I can vouch for it. I've been there before. I've been to Hogwarts and I've come back and this is it. This is it? This is it. This is it. This is it. I actually go to Hogwarts. Don't oh. tell them. Oh, whoops. Just oh, you let the cats out of the bag. Yeah. Crook jinx. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter jokes on Harry Potter jokes yep. on Harry Potter jokes. <laughs> Alright, so I shed my first Kinder Egg in forever and a day because I'm pretty sure these are still in America, but I'm not sure. So this is the first one time I've had them in a really, really long time. Are they illegal in America? They are illegal yeah. in America because exactly. Americans are stupid and they eat the toys. Um, so yeah, I got a little. I got an aeroplane. Okay, not sure if it was worth my ADP, but I did it anyway. 